I think we're live right now. Um, it says on Zoom we're live. Um, okay, so hello everybody um, in our Riverdale and who else is watching. Um, my name is Samantha Campanelli and I work in real estate with Lewis and Company. Uh, we are a um, small team of four amazing women and we primarily do our work in Riverdale. Um, and so we don't necessarily just define ourselves as uh, real estate agents, we also like to define ourselves as connectors. And so that's why we're here trying to do our part um, and really speak with our small businesses, our local small businesses to um, find out how they're coping throughout this pandemic and see how we can um, help them out uh, and, uh, and kind of do it in a fun and creative way. So I'm so happy to have my personal esthetician and this amazing human being all around, Nadia Lam from Tamara Lee Beauty. Uh, if you wanna say hi, Nadia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she, we've, we actually wrote a, a blog on her only, I don't know, back in January, um, I actually had an intimate one-on-one -on -one with her and I was able to type up an awesome blog, a little bit more about her treatments and um, what she does at Tamara Lee Beauty Boutique. Um, and um, yeah, so Nadia, do you wanna tell us a little bit more about yourself? Thank you. Well, first I wanna really thank you for this opportunity to, you know, just be able to have this conversation and, you know, just talk one-on-one -on -one with you and, you know, just for giving exposure to small businesses like myself. So thank you so much for, for allowing me to do that. Um, <laughs> so again, my name is Nadia Lam and I have been in the industry for about 19 years now and skin has always been my thing. I was a makeup artist uh, for a long time and decided that I wanted to stop covering up people's conditions and issues and now help them with whatever they're dealing with. So I myself had acne um, when I was in my mid to late 20s and it was very daunting. It was hard just emotionally, mentally, as well as physically to go through that whole process. But seeing how I was able to come out of that era, you know, unscarred and on a better, you know, mindset, as well as helping, you know, my skin to look and feel really healthy. Um, it's not just about looking healthy because you can always put as much makeup on as you want to look like that, but it's about feeling healthy, like touching your skin and feeling the health in it. Um, so being able to do that and get my skin to be in good condition and allow me to understand that I could help others do this. I, I have all the knowledge for that. So I decided to focus mainly on skincare and through that, I have helped many women um, deal with not just acne, but also, you know, reverse signs of aging and deal with hyperpigmentation and melasma and, you know, especially sensitivity, eczema, rosacea, psoriasis even, um, helping other men and women deal with, with cases like that it slowly eats away at your self-confidence and your self-esteem over time. And seeing the confidence come back in a lot of men and women has been a uh, package. It's been, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> been uh, very like humbling um, and very satisfying. And I often have moments where I'm like extremely grateful and thankful for like, you know, just the testimonies from my clients and their feedback and all their support, especially during this time too. So um, yeah, like being able to do what I really love to do and help people to, you know, get back their self-esteem, self-confidence with the beauty of their skin. It's It's been a journey. It's been really, really worth it. <laughs> and if I could vouch for anybody, like, this, she's my personal esthetician, as I mentioned, and sh sh I've been going through some issues with my skin in the past, like, couple of months. I don't know if it's just from staying inside so much, but um, she has been so crucial in, like, making me feel confident every day and letting me know that, like, what she's 
broken down for me. She broke down a schedule for morning and night and once a week. Um, and she has put me on the path to brighter and beautiful skin. And I cannot <laughs> wait for everything to come to fruition. But yes, like you, like even just your attentiveness to the client, um, you are like a someone's personal esthetician, meaning that it almost seems like you have no other clients because all of your focus is, is put on one person. And that is so important and so amazing. And you're someone that you can also go home with. So like, you don't just have to book a, um, uh, an appointment to get a facial or whatever it is. Uh, you're actually someone that will, will stay along throughout the journey, which is like, I think hard to find. So, um, <laughs> so uh, I guess, how are you doing personally on a personal level? How are you doing throughout this pandemic? And has there anything that um, you've been get grateful for during this uh, time to kind of sit back and reflect? Well, to be honest, um, I'm actually really grateful that I took that, that leap out to start a business because right now during this time, that has been my focus. Um, I was speaking with a friend earlier and she asked me twice, like, so how are you? What are you doing to stay sane? And all I'm doing every day is working on websites and ordering and formulating and making products and talking to clients and, and of course, relaxing and watching movies and stuff like that. But um, it's really having this outlet that has really kept me sane because you know, yesterday I didn't leave my bed <laughs> all day long except to get something to eat, go to the washroom. But I just stayed there and like I'm creating another website for the products and just worked on that all day long. And it was so satisfying to me. <laughs> you know, I felt productive yet at the same time unproductive because I was at home all day long. But, you know, just things that I wasn't able to do before, like there was a course I wanted to kind of finish up on. I was able to do that. Um, I was able to get caught up on a lot of sleep as well. So I just found that beforehand, like before this pandemic, that everything and life in general was just going so fast. And I had no, there was no end in sight as to when it was gonna slow down. It just seemed like it was gonna get faster. So I was really grateful. I am really grateful. Like now as they're talking about like reopening up businesses. I'm like, no, it's too soon. <laughs> but of course I, I would love to, to, you know, get back and start working on my clients and stuff like that. But I'm really enjoying like just having this, this break so that as we start back again, we just now start back with a clear mind and we're able to just hit the ground running and we're more refreshed. And, you know, I just, I feel like it's a, it's a good break that was well needed. Totally. I, I do agree with you hundred percent. Like, I, I do think that it's going to be interesting to see what happens um, once everything kind of does start to get back into the group right. of things. Sorry, there's like a fluff. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, because it's going to be interesting to see how, how, if people, I feel like there's going to be people in the middle, but also people on the end of each spectrum of like, okay, like big action and like, let's go. And I have so much to catch up on. And then there's going to be those people that are kind of like gradually um, going to get back into the swing of things. Their feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but for those of you that don't already know, um, Nadia's products and the way that she works um, is all holistic and natural. Um, so she really likes to implement a lot of like even facial yoga um, and meditation. And if you've ever heard of the Ayurvedic um, kind of, uh, I don't want to, system or program, I don't even know which word to <laughs> use. Um, <laughs> Yeah, philosophy. <laughs> um, that's typically um, how she kind of operates. And so if you are looking for someone um, who kind of incorporates all of that, then this is, I think she's on this side, or maybe she's on that side for you. This is your girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and in terms of business, how, how are you surviving? And how are you coping? And I mean, I guess my next question would be, 
um, I guess, like, what are you struggling with most? Um, yeah, um, well, I had to pretty much do a transition and, you know, put everything online. So before I was more, you know, I was selling products on my website before I was um, selling services as well. Um, but most of it was generally, you know, one on one after uh, appointments and that sort of thing. So now I had to turn everything to have the main focus of products being sold online and also to look for things on the market that my clients can use at home. So things that I'm doing and using in the treatment room, how can I now have my client do that herself at home? Because we need to up upkeep as well. We don't really know how long this pandemic is lasting for. So, you know, just to kind of keep up with, I know I am. So, you know, it's important for my clients as well to keep up with what they're doing. So I, I have some derma rollers on my website. Um, I actually have them here to show you. Awesome. But uh, derma rollers, this is going to replace um, microneedling for now. Oh. <laughs> so this will help to puncture micro channels in the skin so that it helps the collagen to rebuild itself back. So it's kind of like, um, we call it a controlled injury. So that will help the collagen to rebuild, the elastin to tighten, and also for the complexion and the tone of the skin to be a lot brighter. Um, allows for product penetration as well. And um, this one here, I did show this on my website. I know this is something that you had purchased as well, but this is the LED and uh, this is handheld. I have one um, for my treatment where it goes right over the face, but this one, you just kind of go in circular motions or um, back and forth, up and down as well. And this will impart um, different uh, modes of light that target different skin types and conditions. Um, and then also a razor. I haven't gotten to this part yet for myself, but this, um, it's a hair trimmer. So I do dermaplaning. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, treatment, that is a deep, sorry, my windows are open. <laughs> <laughs> Not alive. <laughs> So um, dermaplaning, that's a very intense exfoliation treatment. And with that, I'm getting rid of not just the peach fuzz, but also the, the dead layers of the skin, the dead cells. And this will allow you to do this at home. It will get rid of that uh, annoying peach fuzz that we all have and then allow for better product absorption. So things like uh, vitamin C serums or hyaluronic acid, pro vitamin B5, like those kinds of um, ingredients that they'll all penetrate and actually work. And you'll see the benefits. A lot of the times it's hard to kind of get through all the dead cells that's trapping the pores and all the hair that's kind of like blocking all the dead cells and blocking the pores. So getting rid of all that and having a really smooth um, appearance and smooth uh, texture to the skin will allow product to just go right through the, the top layer to get through where it needs to get to, to give you really healthy skin. So, you know, having to look for things like this um, on the market to add to my website. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've been, you know, pretty much having quite a bit of online orders. And so that has been keeping me busy to fulfilling them. I do go to the post office, but, um, you know, I make sure that I'm like all masked up, <laughs> you know, gloves and I'm hand sanitizing my gloves even and, you know, but it's usually just to and from, but that, you know, gets me out of the house. So things like that have been really keeping me sane and having to kind of be creative and think of new innovative ideas to transition my business and Right. You know, like in, in our case, like I, I would, I'm not able to actually like give you a facial, but I could consult with you and talk to you and, and guide you as to like how to give yourself a facial at home and the steps. And totally. And are those three um, products that you just showed us, are they someone that um, with any type of any skin type could use? Or is it, would, would you recommend having like a consultation with someone first prior to purchasing one of those? Yeah, um, especially the, well, typically everything can be used 
for all skin types. The ones that can't wouldn't try to use it, so that's like eczema, rosacea, like really intense sensitive skin. But mm -hmm. if you have normal skin type or um, like if you're troubling with acne, you're not going to want to use the razor, you know, like, so you're going to know your limits, but also you'll ask. Right. <laughs> so I do like, you know, do uh, have quite a bit of DMing and emailing and text messaging to make sure that, you know, what they're asking for, they're getting the right one. Right. For the um, micro roller, or the derma roller, sorry. Um, I consult with my, my clients, I call clients everybody, but customers that uh, inquire about that. And I've had to tell people, no, this is not for you, so. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, well, that's awesome. And so you are also, I mean, she, so what am I trying to say right now? Um, <laughs> there's so many things in my mind that are just going. <laughs> um, so Nadia's, located right now um just north of the danforth on pape ave um just at pape and fulton i believe yeah. and um she's just opening a second location is that still happening and so with that that's the other transition and the other um you know adjustment that we've had to make as a business yeah uh, that I'm actually, I'm still keeping that unit, but I'm turning it into a manufacturing because right now I manufacture oh. everything out of my kitchen. Oh. So I have turned everything online. I, and the focus is there. Now we're going to be focusing on producing products. So instead oh. of going outside to manufacture, I'm keeping it still in, inside the business, but the girls that uh, I had hired to work there, I'm going to be going through, I'm doing an online training with them uh, starting next week, but we're going to do training on how to make products and take them through the whole process. So when we're ready to open up again, then we can start. Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of a cool, like little pivot. I feel like, I don't know that you know, maybe would you have considered doing that prior to the pandemic or? Probably not, to be honest, like maybe like down the road. Um, you know, I do live in a condo and the, the space isn't, you know, available here. But, um, you know, I was storing things at PAPE, but going back and forth from home to PAPE right now, it's not really like feasible. So I just store everything here. I don't know if you can see, but um, it's going to start overflowing when I have to do another batch and another batch. So right. I decided to really transition and do that and make that work right now. So. Oh, that's, that's actually really cool. <laughs> um, and again, for those of you that don't know, uh, Nadia makes her own, um, most of her own products. Uh, again, she, they're all, um, uh, natural based products. And, um, so she makes serums, uh, treatment oils, um, lip balm. Um, what else do you make? I've heard. Uh, well now since the pandemic, I added in cleansers, moisturizers, and masks. Um, but I do make the serums, oils, toners, scrubs. Um, and then now with us having that location to manufacture, I'm going to get into uh, formulating body products hand products because you can always tell a woman by her true age by her hands. Totally. <laughs> so whatever we do to the face, we do to the hands. So I'm going to create some specific anti-aging uh, hand creams and also foot creams, you know, just really expand on the brand, but not just to say let's expand on the brand, but really to give uh, customers the kind of products that you really need because all everything in my brand is all botanical based, um, nuts and seeds based, carrier oils and you know collagen, resveratrol, vitamin C, those kind of things that really bring back the usefulness in the skin. Um, I've done you know lots of research and stuff, so it's, this time has really served me. <laughs> That's amazing. And and what was the uh, name of your brand again? It's called Cherry May Skincare. Um, that's the name of the skincare product. Okay, and that's after your mom? Yes. Okay. I just, uh, before everything was Nadia Smirly, <laughs> but yes. I decided to rebrand and to kind of, you know, just kind of separate certain things. So it's Smirly Beauty for 
the practice and the whole beauty uh, boutique. And then of course my skincare products is Cherry May Skincare. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, oh my gosh, I feel like I could again talk to you forever. Like I always sit here just so like mesmerized by everything that you have to say. I'm so intrigued by it all as like, especially learning about skin because I mean, we all have it. Um, and I know part of your mission is to change the narrative that um, taking care of your skin is not like a luxury. It's something that we should all be doing. And it's something that um, men should do as well, or people who identify as men or females, whatever gender, like we should all be taking care of our skin. Do you want to speak on that a little bit or? Yeah. Um, you know, even just, I would say right from puberty, really, um, right from 12, 13, um, all the way up to, you know, 89, <laughs> um, as long as, you're here, it's good to take care of your skin. It's not, you know, not necessary for everybody to get into a full on routine if that's not what their thing is, but doing daily cleansing and daily moisturizing is really important for all sexes. Like a lot of people think that, you know, for men, oh, that's a, a womanly thing and that's, you know, gonna degrade my manlyhood or <laughs> whatever the case is. Um, my husband comes up with all different kinds of excuses, <laughs> but, um, you know, like I look at him and he has so many blackheads here and I just like, oh, <laughs> you know, like everybody needs to get their skin cleaned out and it doesn't have to happen on a monthly basis. It doesn't have to be, you know, something that you have to do, but at least once a year, just get a good cleaning and maintain at home. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if getting a facial is not your thing, then just cleanse exfoliate and moisturize every day or you know as often as you can um so yeah that's that's been like a journey for me to really get that out there to empower men and women and of, again of all ages and all races to take care of their skin that's that's awesome and it's it's so interesting because i know i've had some male friends that have finally tried a skincare routine and even seeing yeah. them after a while like their skin just looks so much better than it did before and i'm like yeah. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, once they once they get in there and once they're introduced to it, then they're the best. Like they 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 stick to the routine and you know they're really good with it. But it's just getting them. <laughs> totally. totally. Yeah, I was gonna make a joke, but I'm gonna not. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. And so I guess to kind of conclude, ooh, uh, because I know uh, people may want to get on with their day, but are just so intrigued by what we have to say. Um, I, my last question would be like, how as a community, um, a community in Riverdale, but a community in general, how can we help you um, kind of pull through this pandemic and, and um, survive and, um, and flourish? Well, you know, if you're following and like, you know, the social media and stuff like that, and it's not necessarily, oh, buy my products and book an appointment in July, or, you know, it's, it's not necessarily that, but, you know, read the info that I'm sharing and like the, the posts and, yeah. you know, uh, just, you know, um, communicate if there's any needs that you, that you have and, any questions at all that you want answered, feel free. It's not just myself that works. My other thing is to really work with a, a good team of people that all align together. So I do have a, a team of women that are waiting there as well that are ready to answer questions too. Um, but yeah, just to be interactive and uh, you know, hopefully in the future, the near future that we're able to all connect. And then if you wanna come experience a facial, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I think it's so great, especially with um, social media these days. Um, you know, like it's so easy to help mm -hmm. friends or small businesses or mm -hmm. um, anyone um, build awareness. And it's, it's so easy to help people for free. So um, yeah, I think it's so important for even just the people that are watching like, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to yeah. watch and get to know Nadia and 
Nadia, I'm not sure which side you're, you're on in the, in the live, but <laughs> um, yeah, like, I mean, again, I have nothing but amazing things to say about Nadia. Um, she's been a blessing uh, to have by my side throughout my own personal skincare journey. Um, and I know that she would be the same for you um, and anybody else that you know. So uh, if you are inspired or uh, love everything that Nadia had to say, then please go ahead and share this live um, or uh, you know, jump onto her page or check out her website um, or our blog that we wrote um, on our Lewis and Company Best of Riverdale blog. Um, anything helps uh, if you want to share any of those or just read or engage, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, link, I'll link everything um, in the comments below once, uh, once we're finished here. And uh, Nadia, last question. Is there any words of encouragement that you have for the community uh, throughout the rest of this pandemic? Well, honestly, stay encouraged. Um, get some rest because after this, the world will take off again. So take advantage of this downtime in life and really look within and discover what your, your what moves you and what your your best interests are and just do what's good for you. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to speak with me. And me. I appreciate it. Yeah, this has been so great. Um, for those of you that are watching, uh, Lewis and Company uh, will be doing this again uh, next Friday at 3 p.m. with another special guest. So stay tuned in the group and we will announce who that special guest is going to be. Um, but for now, I will see you all later. And again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I am now going to try and figure out how to end the Zoom. <laughs> um, and have a good night or a good day, good evening. Yeah, good weekend, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> good night.